Hey folks, Quilly King here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Dota Auto Chess. Sorry, I just forget, realized I forgot to shut my door. Uh, as far as I know, the last game of this I played was, I think, the last one I uploaded where we came in second as a result of some poor APM and some poor decision making right at the end there. Oh, there we go. Wasn't sure it was going to load, but it is. We got a bunch of Russian coming up. But there we go. We've got a game up and running. Um, should we still go to uh, tiny and see like what kind of stuff we can go? I don't know. I I just feel like starting like warriors are so questionable. You get stuck in this sort of warrior trap of like no DPS. But in any case, like axe is a solid starter early on. Maybe we'll just like we'll avoid going warriors, but still pick axe. I don't know. That's kind of dumb, right? I think that's kind of dumb. I gotta lower my own volume here. It's getting very loud in here. Boop 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 boop. boop. Some people are having a whole conversation. Alrighty. Ba -da 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 -ba 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 -da -ba -ba. What's my rank now? Night six. Spent a lot of time at night nine and then fell down hard. Mm-hmm. A stood shield! Excellent! Could be good for Axe. Let's see here. A couple of trolls, a couple of mechs. Second orc. I'm only seeing, like, at a glance, one dude clear. doing mechs. I don't know, man. I don't know. One day we'll just have to commit to, like, full uh, Batrider. <laughs> She's so unpopular, we can get a rank 3 Batrider. Suggested in-game. No, thank you. We're all right. I want to put a shield on this dude when the, the real fight starts, but we don't need this for the uh, the NPCs. It's funny, like, you, there is a possibility you'll take some guys who can't beat NPCs early on, but have, like, high potential. It is frustrating. Ah, uh, we got a pair of Lunas. In the service of Salamene. Yeah, all right. In the service of Salamene. All right, I don't mind that. Um, For now, let's go ahead and put the crown and the stoot shield over here on the clockwork so you can tank a little bit for us for now. Uh, if we're not seeing very many mechs, we could transition into some Knigets. Someone's going knights, like troll knights. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what we can grab. Ba, 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 ba. We got knight, bishop, pawn. Yeah, the full range here. I mean, mostly knights, but the bishop one, pawn nine. Uh, cloak. Be nice to get some attack items for Luna here. Knight silver is safe. None of these are attack items. Do, do, do. Getting all the defense items. Which I mean is okay too, especially if you can combo them into something. Alright, first uh, fight against another person. If we can get someone up to tier 2, we'll be okay. And if we can't... Wow, we got nothing synergistic here. Hmm. I could sell you and go up to the next level a little faster, but I don't think there's much point in doing that. Hmm. I guess we just pick up something like whatever. Enchanted, I'm my master of beasts. Something like that. Yeah, my volumes are really loud. It's probably echoing for you guys. My app apologies. Hey, fit. Let's give you all the items. <laughs> yeah, keep attacking the guy with all the items. It's gonna be great. The wiener is us, you guys! Hey, <laughs> the bishop's the first person to fall. But, I mean, you know, there's there's some RNG in this game. You know, you would be a lie to say that there isn't. Even if you were the best player in an eight-player game, even a best player by a fair bit, there's still absolutely no guarantee that you're going to win. I mean, top four, sure. Hello, tier two Luna. Or two-star Luna. Don't mind that. Um... Now, we could sell and go up. I bring an okay, well, let's grab the anti-mage. Sell you, level up, uh, and put you in. We don't have an elf bonus or anything, so it doesn't really matter. Second anti-mage. The anti-mage may have been better than the enchantress, actually. I don't know. Hard to say. Enchantress really doesn't put out a lot of damage. And right, you've got an enchantress. 
higher level one. You've got the beast bonus going on, too. Very nice. If we win, we'll probably buy the other enchantress. Um, looks a little unlikely, although they're all low. We've got the bounce damage. Yeah. All right, that's going to be fine. So we'll pick that up. Enchanted, I'm sure. That's going to be all right. So we're not married to anything right now. We're enjoying the fact that we got a little mech combo. But everything is okay. If we could get a goblin combo, I suppose, with a bounty hunter, it wouldn't be the end of the world. It would be all right. It might be hard to get a two-star bounty hunter at this point, because we haven't gotten any so far. They're taunting us with uh, with a few things. My quiver and bow are ready. Boom. Undead bonus activated. I guess we'll get another enchantress. I mean, I could make a, a two-star enchantress the hard way here. But, first of all, I don't think I need her in play. A two-star enchantress isn't going to make much of a difference. So we'll uh, we'll wait until we got another Durid to see if we can get a discount. Luna doing all the dips. And that was before she was tier two, right? That's the first fight she's going to be tier two. We got the knight bonus. We got the undead bonus going on now. And a little bit of mech bonus uh, for the front line. Pretty good, although you've got a tier two Luna as well. With armor on her, but... On her butt. Uh, on her, but I don't think that's going to be enough to save her. <laughs> Big easy win. Excellent. A little bit of win streak bonus, so that's nice. Well, Druid, another anti-mage, something something. I mean, we're not about to level up or anything. I mean, I suppose if we can complete our mechs, that wouldn't be the end of the world either. Uh, Abba, Clock. Yeah, it's alright. I mean, nothing for us to do. We could sell a bunch and get up to 10 income, but I think we want to save this stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I wish I'll just get higher until I convince myself that it's the right answer. Something like that. Um, I could buy some dudes. I mean, Tusk is a beast that can combo with the Enchantress, but I don't think I'm going to bother. <laughs> One of the things I've learned playing this game is I do have to sort of preserve my APM a little bit. So, like, I'll buy them, and then I'll just sell them next round and be fine. But, yeah, but that's an extra click, man. Are you sure you have an extra click in your click budget? <sighs> that's a tough thing. You got you got to know your limitations and try to work around them. <laughs> the same thing like I play StarCraft or Dota, you know. You got you got to play characters that are within your your means so that you can, you know, at least optimize the things that you do have space to to <laughs> optimize for. <laughs> like de-optimize around the things you suck. I don't know if that's the right kind of terminology, but you know what I'm saying. I always say it's more important to know what you're bad at than what you're good at. Cuz you can you can work around the stuff you're bad at. These are not helpful in any way whatsoever. I mean, it's tempting me with some pairs, but they're not even pairs of interesting or exciting people. I guess we're just going to eat the 10 gold, I guess, for the um, the interest, and then we'll level up next turn to put it in another slot. That's going to be fine. Right, we're not going orcs or warriors. I mean, if they just randomly gave us three axes in our, in our pack, then I'd take it, I think. But, yeah. We'd like another Tink, or sorry, Clockwork at this point. Tinker I don't particularly care about. And if we if we ditch the Tinker and lose the uh, the mech bonus, I wouldn't cry about it at all. Um, I would keep a, t a two star Clockwork in. A one star Clockwork is less interesting. It's probably better to sell them and move the items to like Abba or something. And I suspect that's what's gonna happen very soon. Especially if we can get some other Knigget. If we can get like a random roll to get like an Omni Knight or something fairly early. That would be kind of brilliant. So, just waiting for the interest to kick in. Give me my income so I can level up. Please, please, please. And boom, level six. Shadow Fiend, pretty good. We aren't packing any demons yet. <sighs> Another enchantress. Um, all right, we are gonna move you in right away. That's fine. You can actually tank a little bit, although we might move you. Just putting in someone random here, grabbing the items. Uh, we'll grab another Enchantress just so that we can be set up for if we ever draw a mage. Um, we've got a demon from the Shadow Fiend, so that's okay. Um, tanking you up would be nice. Like, we're going to lose this round, possibly in part because I didn't put my items in. Like, it's weird, because there's, like, a lot of dudes here, but it wouldn't have taken much to give a little bit more critical damage to a couple of people, and then have the snowball go differently, or at least not lose anywhere near as bad. So we lost our win streak there. Possibly because of the last minute item change, or unit change, the position not being strong. Maybe I should just make 
going to change this the hard way here, but like, just give me Andruid. These are not Andruid. However, it is an anti-mage. So that's a little sexy. Um, we could go for Terrorblade for the Demon Hunter bonus. Uh, what I think I'm going to do... Oh, I'm going to sell you. And the Abba's going to get some defensive items. I'm going to do that. You are going to get the mana for dealing damage. Void Stone would be better, but I guess this will do. Uh, I think what I do is I sell two of the Enchantresses here. Yeah, I'm pleased with this. We still have two to maybe get up to level three really quickly. Mostly you just keep one around to enable something else, but... Is complete. We've, we've got some pretty good stuff going on without venturing into any kind of druid. I mean, a Furin's always nice. If we draw out, like, two Furians here, like, at this stage in the game, he wouldn't be a terrible addition. Maybe I'm overvaluing him. I mean, it's not like he's that tanky and provides that much DPS by himself. Um, none of these guys are helpful at all. What I'm hoping for is a win, and then sell the two Enchantresses to get up to 30 income. I think that's pretty much it. That being said, I could... Well, again, Co-op's good, but Shadow Fiend is better and is a demon. Um, I could grab the Crystal Maiden. But we already have two people with just passive mana, although the Drow being rank one, at least the Abba, we're a little closer to getting higher. The Undead bonus is nice, but there's a limit to how much you want to keep around. Although maybe we can get an Ecro early Necrophos. So if I were to win, I'll sell the two Enchantresses. We'll get up to 30 gold. And it looks to me like we're going to win here. Yep. Okay. Done, done. Get the bonus for winning. 30 gold, so we'll get the extra interest. Night silver is safe once more. I don't know what, you know, what our board's looking at, and the fact that we're not sitting on pairs, but because we don't have anything on the bench, our, our income's going to be really good. A lot of times you get sort of stuck with a lot of pairs, and you're like, well, I can't just willy-nilly sell because I sort of need to make some pairs at some point. Uh, we do have two elves. A puck would be number six. It's not like I can I can get any income. It's just not possible for me to do it. Um What is this? Ice is nice. King. There we go. We'll bring us down to 30 here. We'll just see what happens. Yeah, not really a new place to level up. I could go and triple spend next turn to level up, but no, we want to get up to 50 gold. Most likely we're gonna sell some, if not all, of what's here. Uh, we don't have a single beast out, so looking for the Sand King for beast synergy is no good. I mean, the Tusk would be a beast, but we're not putting in a, a tier 1 random warrior at this point. Not much point in doing that. Uh, we're just going to keep this on the board, just on the off chance that we can, you know, make a random 2-star. And at this point, that would be worthwhile. Maybe a little bit more questionable with the CM, since we don't have very many people reliant on mana. That being said, 2-star CM, and then you pick up people who can do some cool ults. Um, okay. Sell, sell, sell. We'll pick what up the second uh, puck, because why not? Uh, we'll pick up this Luna. We could go with some Hunter tech, which is quite nice. Time for target practice. So, all right, if we win... Well, win or lose doesn't matter. Selling any one of these people will bring us over for the income. I mean, it would take a really long time to get a three-star Luna, but God, wouldn't it be nice to do so. Like, it sort of kind of doesn't make sense to hold on to this Luna right now. Although, really, the Pucks are not very useful either. Yeah, it, it enables the um, the Elf Synergy. And if we're going Knights, we might be interested in picking up uh, Dragon Knights. Alright. You know what? I'm getting rid of the Hunter. It's only the one. We definitely want the extra income. That was a really disappointing loss. Yeah, I guess we only have one Hunter, so we're not going for Hunter Synergy at this time. Uh, Fury, well, I mean, what we can get our Puck 3, or Puck 2 star. Sort? I pupate a new. Maybe. Maybe. Because I'm not going to have 50 this turn, so... We'll just buy things and see if something else gets set up. We could go dragons. I mean, we're far from doing it. 
but we we do have our elf synergy now, so the puck is like not not tear bad by itself. Man, that hurts. A few a few good bounces from uh from Luna could really whittle down how much damage we're taking. We really need some damage items. Okay, we're gonna do wolves next round, so we've got to be ready to uh, to reposition here. Those have been some painful losses. I went from feeling very strong to getting a lot of losses quite quickly and in a way I did not appreciate. My quiver and bow are ready. Hmm. Okay, um, we're not going to go and spend anything for wolves, that's for sure. What we'll do is we'll sort of invite one of them to jump in here. And then just get obliterated quickly. So we can't get a gold from winning this troll fight. I guess I'll get the Enchantress. Because we could potentially get a double up on the Furion or something, which should still not be terrible. He's an elf as well. She's not. She's just a beast, and we don't really have, despite the fact that I'm holding on to the tusk here, we're really not set up for beast synergy. Uh, two got in here, but it's still going to be okay. Decent explosion. Um, the bounces here are doing pretty good. We might not kill the last big dude. Oh, let's put the Blightstone on you right away. That could actually have some high value in this fight. Ignore some armor, baby. More armor ignoring. You know, plus the undead buff. I think we get... Especially if it's going to say if there's an orb that goes off, we're going to be fine. That may be the only way we could be fine, though. That big uh, wolf that was left over, he can do a lot of damage. All right, so we only got one item out of that, which is a bit sad. But it is the nice one. It's the 10 armor one. Um, it only builds into one thing, the AC. There's an Omni Knight. There's another ABBA. Yeah, baby. Okay. Okay. Select, you bastard. Get you in here. Um, our numbers are good now. I would love to get the Omni in here, but... And I wouldn't mind buying a few other things. Well, okay, I sell you. I sell you. I get these two. Um... I sell you two and hope that we win. I haven't repositioned here for the fight. That might not be so bad. Your diagonal here is going to hit pretty good. Puck's diagonal is going to hit okay too. We got counter exploded. But the splash damage plus Luna, like the fact is that we've got a little bit of AoE plus her AoE, brings a lot of people down very quickly. Um, then it's just hard to necessarily finish. Like, we need... We could... I can see a lot of fights ending with everyone low, but not dead. Or something like this. Uh, My we can finish our lower. drow. Don't mind that one bit. For this moment. Give us a lot more value to keep bringing her around a lot longer. Uh, double Furion, but no. Um, I'm gonna double spend for an XP boost here. And I'm gonna put in Omni. Mm. Ah, would like to move him right there. Slightly more central for his explosion. <clears throat> mm, you've got a Necrophos. And you've got a Kunkka. Yeah, we're really not in a place to set off the Kunkka. One of the things with Luna is she does hit a lot of people, so they tend to get off their AoEs pretty well. Explode, explode, explode! Oh, shit. Let's say before the boat goes off. Yeah, see, everyone at half health like this is what we're going to see a lot. Until we can get a certain amount of critical mass of explosions, which... I don't know, man. And yeah, I don't even need to get the money, but that's okay. None of these are going to be moving towards anything that's helpful. I mean, we only have one hunter. Sniper is really good, but we're not going to do that. Um, we're not going to do any rerolls. I bring an end to magic. So we'll pick up some random stuff that might move us towards moving towards a three-star. I wonder if it's worth punching her in. Yeah, I want you there. Who do I pull for it? I could pull out the Omni Knight for the Medusa. Oh, also some armor. I'm going to put armor on the Omni Knight. Because he will be very survivable at that point. Another Omni over there. Explosion. Heal thyself. For heal explosion. We got splash damage. The orb could have been a little bit better. I think we'll take down another person, but I don't think we win. Ooh, the, the chicken doesn't help. Luckily, his auto attack's really bad. This chicken is lasting 
An inappropriate duration. Okay. We didn't win. I don't know what that does for us. Uh, we died to this, technically. So it wouldn't count. It doesn't give us the income from a win, but we don't take damage. I guess that's fair. I don't know. It makes it sort of even all the way around. Um, grab a random whatever. No, not really. I'm going to grab it to sell it, but... Do, 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 do. Mm, I mean, Razor for some more AoE. Which could be good. Could help us get over the hump here. It's not like I can level. Let me grab you. The spark of death. I mean, I don't need the third knight for the knight bonus. Do I, Medusa? I just don't feel like there's a chance she'll survive long enough. Do I put in just a one-star Terra Blade? That feels really weak. I feel like we're just going to have to eat some really shitty losses here. But I might be wrong. This is sort of a critical time right here where a bad decision can really sink us. Uh, this is looking pretty good, though. Aweez went off halfway decently. Luna's still splashing for a fair bit. We've been a little unlucky with the amount of items we've gotten, I feel. It would be really great if we could power up Luna for some more attack damage. This feeling. Is it joy? Battle, battle, battle. Someone's still fighting somewhere. Where is it? Oh, right here. I don't think Lycan's winning this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, we've already got Abaddon leveled up. Wow, that's really annoying. I mean, we can't quite get there. I guess I'll just pick up the Abba. And sit on it. Uh, next, next round we can spend two... Two level ups to get to eight. I'm still not sure if this is A, the correct positioning or the correct loadout. But we won the last one, so that's okay. I'm really wondering about the Razor for a little... Oh, it doesn't matter. In fact, what we don't want here is more magic damage. Because... I mean, they have no magic resist, but they're so low on armor. Broadsword combines with a few good things. If we had claws, that would be the ideal... I think I want to kind of... I think I want to put it on Luna. Um, another Razor... Okay, hold on. First, we hit F a couple of times. Uh, we do put the Razor in. And then we pick up this Razor. I will do this. Um, and you can get a Blightstone as well. A Blightgeta Stone. None of these people are what we're looking for. Although, it's possible we'll be able to go more Demon Tech. I'm just wondering, this Medusa on the bench. Um, actually, let's sell you. We'll grab this. Because if we get the second uh, Demon Hunter in there, we can stack multiple demons. So we can play the Chaos Knight. We can throw in a, a Doom, which would be kind of nice. Even if we don't have Warrior Synergy, that's fine. Like a Doom, where he gets to keep his Fell Power. And he can still Doom things to shut them down. That's really good. <clears throat> oh, we got Marana Arrowed. Ooh, it's tight at the end. Oh, shit! Really? Oh, no bonus gold for us. We weren't on a streak or anything, but... Damn! I, this Medusa on the bench, like, it's just four gold we could have used to optimize our income. Oh, Kunkka, another Omni Knight. Okay, Kunkka and Medusa are sort Time of interchangeable. You're also human, which is good. Um, let's get rid of you. Pick up the Omni. Try to work up to the next Omni bonus. So tempted to do some rerolls here. This is not ideal spot for you. You'll get to the front. Um, it's tough. With a one star, like, they can die so easy, but at the same time with a Kunkka, you do want him to take some damage so that he gets his boat off while it's still relevant. All right, he's being attacked by the one assassin right here. So he's going to be able to boat... F Where are you? Oh, you're right over here. Boat, 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 boat. Okay, there. I think we might have the win anyway. Well, it's tough to say. The transform Lycan is pretty badass.
I'm okay with this. And so one of the things with Medusa is that if we had Hunter combos, and we would have it, but we only have the one Hunter right now. I mean, we might grab another, especially if we get Tide Hunter. But the human bonus is quite nice. Lord. So none of these are something that we have in the books. We could re-roll, but I would like to get the knife. I think it is worth re-rolling. For like one pair up. Ugh. There you go. Omni. Righteous. Gracious me. And I think the Doom is better than our second Chaos Knight here. Because a solo Doom could work. There's, there's, there's something in part of me that wants Viper so that we can start teching up. Um, maybe what I do here is, because we're so far from three stars on Luna, it's not very realistic. I'm going to sell this Luna. I'll pick up the Chaos Knight. We really need the, um, like, we're collecting these demons. We really need the Terra Blade to be in place so that we can keep our demon bonus. But demons can do a lot of damage. Because they keep their fell power. They do 50% bonus pure damage. Pure doesn't get negated by anything. Doesn't get negated by armor or um, or magic resistance. Disruptor are good, but not for us. Um, new level 2. We could grab that, but... There's our Terra Blade. I was the devil on your shoulder. I don't think there's any point in keeping Puck around. I mean, again, there was a possibility of a dragon enabler, which might still happen. I still should probably move Kunkka here, but... We'd be better off keeping Lycan as, like, another human... For a human synergy. Those silences become insane. Uh, I think we lose this again. Huh? Yeah. I don't know if this is the same dude that we lost to last time, but it could be. So now I can put more demons into play. Mm, yeah, I'm, I do want to save up quite badly here. Uh, how do I feel about things? Well, let's... So he's going to be a little protected. In particular, the Anti-Mage can help protect him from someone using their, their powers when Kunkka's around. It might help Kunkka get off his boat a little bit more. We don't have any combos that I'm, like, pairing up. Oh, it doesn't really matter against these birds. Two humans. We have two active um, demons, which is fine. We do have Horror enabled. We don't have Elf Evasion, but I don't think... I mean, we could get it back with Puck, but I don't think that's in the cards. Another knight, which will be the Chaos Knight. Yeah, let's get rid of you. There's, we were missing a broadsword for... I think something with her? Yeah, we'll, we'll check it out after. Um, Kunkka. Second Shadow Fiend. Yes to the reroll here. Okay, we'll stop. I mean, we can't afford too much. Um, you combine... Right, with the Claws... Oh, oh, you have a broadsword already. Um, you also combine with chain mail. I think we have plate mail, but not chain mail. So I'm just going to give it to her. Although it would stack on Luna, but she's got a lot of innate be benefits as well. I mean, she might get sold at some point. We'll just move it to Luna at that point. Like, who cares? In particular, when we get a Necrophos or something. You're very good. I don't think we're... Like, we've got our, our, our two-star Omni Knight, so it's okay. I think what we're going to do here is we're going to level 9. Maybe we just need to spend... Uh, yeah, two, two Fs will get us to level 9. And then we can be pretty comfortable with a lot of these rerolls. Uh, we got a Shadow Fiend here. So it's going to put us below 50, but that's okay. Let's actually move you over here. And we can put someone else in. Uh, which I think is going to be you for fourth night. There you go. And you get to keep your Doom and bonus. Although we're not putting in Doom. Doom is really good. Who do we cut? Maybe Anti-Mage. At least for now. That could have been a thing. Uh, magic resistance. 
the re re reduction. We'll put it on you. Um, yeah, we don't have an elf bonus. Anti-mage is fun for shutting down someone else, but you know what else will be for shutting down other people? The freaking doom effect. Yeah, this was a mistake. I'm not sure that it would have made a difference in this fight, but it's certainly less good. One star doom, I'm pretty sure, is better than a two star. Um... Oh no, we've got to keep him in for our freaking demon tech. Oh shit, balls. Time to shove off. Well, this is much better. Step lively now. Your admiral is on much, board. much better. Um, we can finish the Chaos Knight. I shall profane the lands with my wolf um, I wonder if we want to move anything around. I'm going to buy you. I'll probably sell you if um, if we lose. I'm wondering, actually, if the Razor if it makes much sense. We do want AoE, but at this point, we're going to want AoE from Legendary people. Like, Tier 5 people, as opposed to Razor. Razor's got no synergy. We have no Mage. We have no Elemental. I, I'll, I keep them here. Maybe I'll just sell them. That, that's... Oh! Wasn't I gonna, no, no, I can't swap you out. That's right. I can't swap out the anti-mage if I'm going to keep rocking a bunch of demons. i got three demons in play right now. You died well. I mean, it's not like the Chaos Knight is that much of an impressive demon, but he is a knight. He's giving us a four knight bonus, which dramatically increased our tankiness. Kind of, sort of, no. Kinda, sort of, yes. I now, I can get the, the Razor 3, which is going to be worth running for now, I think. Um, do I remove the Undead bonus? We don't actually have that much physical damage. I mean, Luna and then her. Do I cut? I mean, it's too late now, so it's going to pick something random. That's probably the worst possible thing. Well, I say that. Do I care about the fell power? Yeah, I kind of do. Although, if I ditch this, the, like, I could, if I ditch him, I ditch Fel Terrorblade. They sort of come as a pair. And part of me thinks at some point they will get dropped. Looks like we're going to win this one. Without any fell power active. Energized. Yeah, we're not we're not gonna go for the dragon tech. Righteous. I bring the spark of death. I'm really wondering if we drop the undead bonus for now. This keeps the knights. Then we probably want to sell her. Um, I mean, inevitably we're probably we're gonna replace her with another source of undead. Necrophos, Lich. Maybe, maybe, um, Death Prophet. Yeah, okay. Hurts a little bit. But we can give the other broadsword to Luna. And that's not so bad. Uh, Chainmail, hey, we've got a Palade Mail. Uh, that'll be nice on our frontliners. Uh, alright, let's see here. Another Chaos Knight. Okay, let's sell you. Put you on the board. Buy you. The techie's pretty good. Uh, again, we've got level 2 Abaddon, right? So we're going to sell you. we got level 2 the Omni Knights. We're going to sell you and grab the Necrophos. Um, and then we're going to have to make some decisions here. I don't know what our final comp is going to look like. Thing is, I don't think the Chaos Knights are our future. We're gonna see what comes up here. How many hit points do I have? Basically none. Fudge. We would have gotten the level next turn, but we might not be alive next turn. Get your rotors running! Jar pretty good. Um oh, that's our undead bonus. 
Fudge! Okay, uh, let's go... You're going to be frontlining a lot. We're going to give you this. We'll give you that. Um, we'll give some armor to you. I don't know. Try to get the tech explosion. Fate doesn't have a lot of things in play. Why is that? Whoops. I didn't want to... No, I don't want to load your profile. I want to just zoom to you. I don't know. Power. And we won that. That's something. The hunter feasts. Get rid of the demons. Put you in here. Put you in here. Uh, blade mail up on tide, armor piercing on you. Um, that'll help because you auto attack quite a bit. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna have to spend my in between time here buying. Uh, we've got a techies. Another techies wouldn't be bad. Uh, we'll do this. We'll sell you and you. And oh shit, we're just dead. No. Maybe fate will die first. Fate did not die first. Fate did die, but after me. <sighs> it's like, it, it kills me because I know I can do better. Like, there's so many times where it's like, oh shit, this and this and this and this. And especially if I rewatch my videos, there's so many times. But it's, it's so hard to do on the fly. Oh my god. Thanks for watching. I love this game. See you next time.